tonight is the night. We're celebrating legends all happening at the National Museum of African American Music. Might I add, this is the only museum of its kind dedicated to celebrating and preserving black music in America. I am your host for tonight, Adriana, the personality. I need you guys to buckle up as we get ready to take off and hit this red carpet. Let's go. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the National Museum of African American Music's Celebration of Legends Awards Gala. Why do you believe that events in spaces like this is so important and that we take the time out to honor one another? I believe that when we take time out to honor each other, it opens doors of opportunity for us to see our value, for us to see our worth. And when we can recognize that in ourselves first and foremost, and other people will recognize us in that. I would not be who I am were it not for the legacy left by those that come before me. So it's important to celebrate them so that we one day can be celebrated. Because African Americans and African American music is the culture. We are the culture of this country. We are the fabric of this country. So why not have more spaces like this where we celebrate who we are and the contributions that we make to this country. All of you get to be a part of making this kickoff celebration for Black Music Month a great big party in honor of the 75th anniversary of Atlantic Records. I guess God pinched myself because I grew up, I knew very early I wanted to be a part of music. So the fact that I'm here representing Atlantic Records growing up listening to Brandy and Aaliyah and all the amazing music that came out of Atlantic is an incredible moment for me. It is our absolute honor to present the Rhapsody and Rhythm Legacy Award to Atlantic Records. You love the music that comes out of Atlantic Records. We owe a debt of gratitude to Lombre Gava. I am deeply honored to be standing before you tonight to accept the Rhapsody and Rhythm Legacy Award on behalf of Atlantic Records. I often say that I wake up every morning with the weight of my artist's hopes and dreams on my shoulder. And I never say that as though that's a burden. It is a complete honor and privilege to be part of artist careers, specifically African-American artists. And I wear that responsibility like a badge of honor. Thank you again, Deanna. Thank you, Stacey. To the CEO and President, H. Beecher Hicks III, and to the entire National Museum of African American Music for this much needed institution to celebrate the magic that is black music. Thank you very much. My performance is about to be electrifying, and I'm, I'm eight months pregnant behind it. Let me tell you, it ain't gonna keep me down, okay? I love it. I love that. What do you believe your eight-year-old self will be saying to you right now to see you doing a tribute to the queen of rock and roll here at the National Museum of African American Music? Oh my, that is an amazing question. My eight-year-old self would say, Evie, you did it. You trusted God and you did it. Keep going because God is going to continue to blow your mind. Arabella Fante was a pioneer before Rihanna and Shaggy and Beanie Man and everybody that, you know, opened the door for mainstream music from the islands on to, to, to the main stage in the United States. So. Preservation and legacy is just the foundation of who we should always be trying to preserve. If there weren't the greats like Tina Turner, Marvin Gaye, Isaac Hayes, Martin Luther King, this would not be possible. So it is important that we support our own and we celebrate and preserve our own.